Hi guys, it's Chris, and this is not an Amiga video, but as you can see right here, there's a chicken wing shortage in Pennsylvania. But, thanks to some helpful people who know who they are, hooked me up with a donation specifically for chicken wings. If I said I would make a video that I actually purchased chicken wings and not a bunch of beer or stupid stuff. So, I have two Purdue value packs. You're thinking, wow, it's chicken wings. What's the big deal? Well, when you're fat and you like wings, those two mix together and make happiness. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these and prep them to chop and where's the camera? To chop them, separate them into the drumstick and the winglet and toss the little tail piece, that tip piece that no one actually eats. And then we're going to marinate them for a little while, fire them up in the old Sakura deep fryer and we'll show the finished product. All right, so you can't see that because I'm on the wrong thing. Anyway, here's my rinsed off and semi-dried chicken wing dudes. And all I do is I'm using a big cleaver that I just sharpened and I give it an incision upon on the corner right to where the bone is so you get the base of the bone. You can actually feel it and after you do about a couple of these, it gets pretty easy to find the spot and just give it a smack or whatever you can chop through it. I didn't save the bone right. One, and then for this thing right on the edge, I just kind of go like that and separate it. So I have a winglet and a drumstick. And I just pause, rewind, repeat this several times until I, uh, there we go, that's better. Get the hang of it and boom, boom. So for each wing, you kind of get two what we would call chicken wings, which would be the uh, drumstick part and the winglet, and we don't keep these parts. So I'm going to go ahead and chop through uh, 40 of each, or 30 of each, so that'll be 60-ish wings, and then I'll go over what I'm doing for marinating and saucing. clean and bleached when you dry over here on the stove land whoa, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take I'm not quite ready for it yet question do any of you have a drawer in your house just full of freaking plastic things that's my favorite drawer because every time you open it to get something you knock out 900 things to put food in that you never use I'm just going to put some foil down. This isn't for the chicken wings, but this is for the deep fryer to save me from having to clean up a bunch of grease splatter. And the fryer is just going to sit on here. So that is 3.78 liters. 128 fluid ounces, one gallon, four quarts, 3.78 liters. So anyway, you'll notice my oil has like a little golden hue to it. Why? It's canola oil, but it's not new. I use it like two or three times. I filter it out. It's clean. It's not going to, you know, all this crap that's in here equals flavor. It's clean oil. There's no debris in it. Like I said, it's been filtered. When I remove this, I clean it all out. Filter it all out with the, the funnel I use to put oil in my car. For real. I clean it. Don't worry about it. It's good. Uh, you're going to notice here before we get started. And it's early. I'm not going to cook wings at 11, uh, 34 in the morning. Well, I could, but it's kind of for later on. So you can see I have some nice uh, fluorescent pink marks. I took some hobby paint. You can use fingernail polish if your wife or yourself have some hot pink fingernail polish. That's fine. Like I said, this had a black plastic nub on black plastic on black plastic, which is great until there's steam and stuff you can't see. So I just did a little tickle and gave her a pink dot and a line so I could see where the heck I was in relation to a time and temperature because it's hard to see, especially when everything is heated up. So that's that part. What do I do for spicing up the wings? Well, believe it or not, I don't really do much. 
here in Wingland, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a little bit of garlic powder on them. And I buy the Members Mark, which I think is Sam's Club here in the U.S., your big box store. And I'm literally just going to coat some of these. And I'm going to have to dig in here after I just freaking washed my hands. Some of them I will bread them, mainly with like a Italian breadcrumb and some flour when they get wet. If you want an extra crunchy, crunchy fried chicken type of wing, a lot of times I don't. I want to just have them slathered in barbecue sauce or a garlic parm or something like that. Today we're just going to do a spicy barbecue and that consists of very simple off-the-shelf stuff. So normally when you make a video you're prepared with your ingredients. Well, I use Sweet Baby Ray's but I need a whole lot more and as you can tell by the inverted bottle I have to run to the store and get some barbecue sauce with my oil because we are out. So my wife told me I didn't look, which I didn't. And uh, here we go, we got another bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue. If you can get this, this is a United States thing. I don't know where if they sell this overseas, but use your own barbecue sauce. Hey, do you guys even eat wings outside the United States? We're like a bunch of rednecks and it's a good fat food, a bar food pub to you guys over in the United Kingdom. So they have a, a buffalo wing kind of sauce and I have this generic buffalo wing sauce. Because I don't care for just the overpowering, not heat, but chemically spiciness, that's what I call it, of just the buffalo wing sauce, I kind of mix them together and make a spicy barbecue. If you wanted to fire it up some more, feel free to put some Texas peat, some Cristal or whatever kind of that type of hot sauce. You don't really want to go Tabasco because it's kind of a little too much. So let me go in the drawer that I hate. So back to barbecue sauce. Squeeze a bunch in here. That's good. All right. And then I'm going to just do an appropriate measurement of... That's good. My wife's going to yell at me because I didn't recycle the plastic bottle. But this is going to form still the same sauce, but it's going to give it just the right amount of heat with the sweet tanginess of the barbecue. I don't know if you can see that, but you can tell this is like a reddish orange. And, you know, give her a taste test to find your appropriate level of heat. Well, that's way too much. That's fine. Sometimes I'll put some fresh garlic, and when I mean fresh garlic, I mean, I'm not chopping it, but I buy it in the big old... I mean this type of garlic. So it's like, whatever it's called. I bear a minced garlic in water. If you really want to stink up your friends, or have everybody smell, this is great. And I just kind of give it a little bit, because it's going to get mixed in with the sauce. It'll get on the wings. This has garlic in it already, but just for some texture. And like, I mean not a lot, like maybe a big spoonful or something. Depending on your amount of sauce. You don't want so much garlic in there, you're going to be fending off the vampires for a year. So I'm going to let this set up. I'm going to put a lid on it, maybe. Just shove it in the fridge, keep it cold. These are going to sit for a while. I forgot to turn them. I'm going to do that now so I can wash my hands. That's the prep work. Now, depending on how I'm feeling on chef mode, is what I'll do with breading. Like I said, I'm not breading them today, but if I was going to, it's a simple flour, a little bit of Italian breadcrumbs, wet the wing, flour in the breadcrumb mixture, sometimes put some spices, salt, pepper, lemon pepper, whatever you want to do for your flavoring, but this is what I'm doing today. Spicy barbecue with garlic, separated winglet drumstick. We're gonna let them set up for a couple hours, and then we'll go all MTV Cribs with cooking. Okay, so it's been several hours later. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this sucker up. I gotta fill it up first with oil. Sitting all day was the uh, mixture of the sauce and the garlic. Chicken wings I put in the fridge. They're pretty much ready to go. This this thing takes uh, whoops, this thing takes literally 10 or 15 minutes to heat up. So set your temperature to 350. I'm just gonna set this TikTok timer for a while. You can check it with a thermometer when you're getting close, or you can just turn this down until the heat light goes out. That'll give you a quick range of what's going on. Here's our connoisseur taste tester, Snoop D O Double G. You gonna eat some chicken wings? All right. So this is our Australian Shepherd. He's five months old. 
Pimp hand. Rock on. All right, good job. Now adding to this endeavor, I'm going to cut some fries. They're just simply potatoes that we're going to slice into. I only have three, so as best we can. And you can make them your own length, your own thickness, but this is just standard natural fries. Okay, with those guys, I'm going to give these a light salting. Put a little bit of garlic powder on these. It really gives them really good flavor. Now I'll give you a trick of what I like to do. Blot these off with a paper towel to get the water out of them. But, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to set these aside for a second. And I'm going to get another bowl. Alright, so the trick to some really good fries is this. Get yourself some tomato ketchup. Fill that sucker up. Cold ketchup, too. That's good. Get the fart sound in there. Helps out a lot. You can use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. I like apple cider vinegar. Pour a little bit on top. Like, what the heck are you doing? Give it a good ratio. And then, stir this. It will thin it out just a little bit. You're, what you're looking for is a ketchup flavor. You know, tomatoey ketchup. With a slight tint of the tartness of the vinegar. You can see it really doesn't affect it that much. Because ketchup actually has vinegar in it. In its making, in its creation process. And then... I coat the top of this with pepper. Why? Because when you dip your fry in, you get ketchup, you get pepper or salt or whatever little toppings you're putting on there. And it's perfect. It's like a little stupid thing that fat people do. Because my me my videos are mainly Amiga videos. How's that sound? There we go. Looks factory. This is hilarious. I'm going to take a picture of it and post it on Facebook. -er. And you can see here, these are just the fries going in. That's it. We'll let these sit in here until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, so it's 5.15 p.m. here. So I got one taste tester fry. I'm just making sure this is done enough. It's hotter than Hades. I'm going to give her a dip. Not right. Even though they're brown, they're not crispy enough. They're still kind of soft. I want them soft in the middle. That's why I went with the higher temperature. So I get a hard shell on the outside and a nice, hot, warm, goodness potato on the inside. Okay, so you're thinking to yourself, man, these are really getting dark. Yeah, they are. But remember, my grease or oil is two cycles. So it's going to darken it up. Man, these are hot. Yep. Well, you reach into a fryer, you big moron. All right, so fresh fries. That mixture is the bomb.com. Okay, so with that, the fries chilling on the side. I'm going to sit them over here. I'm going to let the oil recover, meaning heat the heck up really good. My timer is going down, so I'll set it for another 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. Good for an auto timer in case I die while cooking wings. It'll uh, turn off and... The rescue force can uh, have some wings. When they... Let's get the wings prepped. Prepped meaning I'm going to grab some tongs. I have short ones and long ones. I'm going to use the shorter tongs. 20. 522. 532. These should be done. Alright, so we're at 180 degrees on the chicken. So this batch is done, but I'm going to let her crisp up a little bit more. And uh, then I'll show you the tossing. Tossing of the salad. After these turds have been, you know, drained or whatever, you can go ahead and transfer them to a bowl. Filming sucks because you got to do everything three times. Set up the shot. This bowl ain't big enough, but whatever. I'm just going to pour a little bit of sauce on top. Make a mess. And then just kind of toss these through until they're covered. I should have got a larger bowl. I'm an idiot. Voila. Don't they look good? Mm-hmm. Gonna repeat the same process. Oil's heated up 365. I'm doing a lot of drumsticks. I'll do a couple winglets. Anywho, that's where we're at. Looking for the crispy factor. So anyway, I don't need to keep boring you with my wings. That's that's how you cook wings in your Amiga fryer. 
anyway that's all I got I hope this makes you hungry and I hope you learned something hey remember that ketchup and vinegar thing dip your fries in there really good or chips or whatever you call them in the UK thanks for watching